Welcome to Cloudy Neck Crochet. My name is Lori, and I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. Thank you. Happy spring, everyone. Today is the first day of spring. And since I live in California, I have to share with you the California puppies. In this video, we'll be doing the hashtag seasonal yarny YouTube hop. And this is the spring hop for March 20th, 2022. And this hop is hosted by the Crafty Nomad. Make sure you watch this video till the very end because I will be doing a giveaway. So let me show you where I got my pattern to do the spring hop. I have this old magazine, the spring of 2015, and I thought it would be cool to do each season um, where I'm going to pick the pattern out of a crochet magazine so let me go ahead and flip through this magazine and i'll show you my pattern the pattern that i made for spring is called the harmony bamboo tank now the reason that i picked this item is i want to start making more wearables this year and I live in a warmer climate, um, so I really like to wear a lot of tank tops when the weather gets hot. So I found this pattern, and what I did with this pattern is I had to make a couple adjustments. Um, the adjustments that I made is this pattern is calling for a weight to yarn. And I wanted to use a, a DK weight, which is a weight three. And the yarn that I used was by Lion Brand. And it's called the uh, Cotton Bamboo Yarn. And this skein has 235 yards. And I used two full skeins and then this is what I have left of the third skein right here. The hook size that I used making this project was a five millimeter. But again, I had to change the hook size because the pattern was calling for a G hook with a weight to yarn. So since I was using a bigger size hook and a little thicker yarn, I realized I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. Now, thankfully, I didn't have to make adjustments in the pattern itself. All I needed to do was size down on what pattern, um, what size pattern to make. So normally, um, if you wear, say, a large, then you would downsize to a medium. So that's what I did for my size. Now, here's a picture of it um, showing the back. Now, let me bring it up a little closer. What I really enjoyed making this pattern is it is being worked from the top down. I did have to do some ripping out to find out what size was going to work best for me, but I really love the intricate um, stitch work right here along the neckline. And here's my finished object for the spring hop. I just love my tank top. I tried it on and it fits really well. It's gonna look really cute over a tank top. And this yarn has a lot of movement and really good drape. Now let's look at the neckline. I really enjoyed 
the neckline. It has these puff stitches in there. Now, this tank top was made in the round, and it was made from top down. And here's the armhole. When you were working in the round, there was um, on either side, you had to increase stitches to get the shape of the armhole. The stitch that I used to make this tank top was the V stitch. And since you were working completely in the round, there are no seams. I found this pattern to be really easy to follow along and I can't wait to wear my new tank top. So for the spring hop giveaway, I will be giving away some mystery yarn. So let's go over the rules for the giveaway. You must be 18 years of age or older. YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway. All comments must abide by the YouTube community guidelines, and due to shipping costs, you must live in the United States. And also be subscribed to my channel, Cloudy Nook Crochet. And all the other rules will be listed in the description box below. If you would like to participate in this giveaway, in the comments section below, Write a comment and put in the keyword poppies. And I will pick the winner on March 27th using the random comment picker. Good luck, everyone. Bye for now until we meet again.